Hello, Hacienda La Puente. This is Ricardo, one of your tech tosas. And today I want to spend time talking about an amazing tool inside of Canvas, especially when we talk about distance learning. Um, studio is going to come in really, really handy. So when you are inside of your Canvas account, on the main dashboard, you have something called Studio, okay? And I'm really excited because this is gonna give you the ability to do many things, such as screen record, webcam record, add videos directly that you created, or add them from another, from your computer, or bring in videos from YouTube. So let's learn how this works, okay? I'm in studio right now and I have a video in here and um, I don't think the sound is going to play for us right now. Just to give you an idea, all I did was record uh, my screen to give my students a brief overview of what our uh, course is going to look like. And I'm going to play it, but what I want you to see is I want you to notice that I have captions turned on. So think about accessibility when our students come in here. So notice the captions right here. So what a great tool to have, right? So this is again a video that I created um, to give the kids a tour. Um, I have details about it. I can change them if I want to de I change the details of the uh, video that I created. I just gave it a title. I can allow for my students to comment, okay? So maybe I want to ask a question about a video that I brought in from YouTube. I can have the kids comment at the end of the video. The insights are really incredible. It will tell you how many people have watched them or if the students watch the whole video. So think about our students that you tell them to watch a video during class and they just um, kind of skip it and go straight into the answers, okay? And I think I mentioned captions for you, but you can uh, manage the um, captions. So um, I have it in English, but you can have all the languages in there. So think about that ELD student uh, or maybe even that parent uh, if you give them a tour or you're actually asking for something that can follow along with you. So some really, really powerful tools, okay? So that's just to give you an idea of one of the videos that I created, but I want you to see that you can create your own. So here we have collection, and if I click on it, you can uh, divide the videos by collections. So maybe you have different courses, and you can put them in different uh, courses, or maybe you have different topics or different subjects. You can do that as you keep adding your videos so you don't have all these videos all over the place. So just to give you an idea, okay? So let's say that I wanted to record, okay? Um, my screen or even my webcam, I would just go to record, okay? I can do screen capture, or I can do a webcam capture, or I can also do both of them. The first time you do it, um, if you're gonna do the webcam capture, it's going to ask you to download something. And, and it's just a, a little plugin, okay? So just to give you an idea, I wanna go screen capture, and it's going to open something for us to actually uh, record. Um, it's taking a while, or I think I have it open already because I'm recording, but that's what it's going to do for you. Open, and notice that you have the ability to just use the mic maybe. Maybe you don't want to show your face. Maybe you just want to record audio. You can do that, okay? Or you can do the webcam, in which you will do both of them, or you can, and then when you're ready, you can just start recording. Okay, so that's how you're going to do that part, okay? Just to give you an idea. Let's close that right there, okay? You can add so maybe you have a um, video on your computer already. You can just go ahead and browse your files. So just drag and drop. I'm just going to go ahead and browse my files really, really quick. Let me go inside of here and just look for something. Um, just really, really quick. Let's find a video. It doesn't matter what video it is, but I just want to show you how that looks. So again, if you had it on your computer, on your desktop, you can just drag and drop. I'm just going to go in here and just bring something in. So let's bring uh, um, this Spanish video that I have for my class, okay? Open, okay? Notice that it's gonna upload it right there, okay? But um, besides having the ability to just bring in um, your own video, you also have the ability to bring anything from YouTube. So I'm going to go to YouTube and I'm just going to find, uh, maybe I'm teaching present progressive in Spanish, okay? So I'm going to look for a video that I wanna use. Maybe something like this is something that I, that, I, that I would like to use in my class. I'm just going to click on it, okay? I'm going to go ahead and share it. I'm going to grab the link, okay? Let's go back to Canvas Studio. I can just paste the link over here, and I can add. And notice that that video is already here. 
and I love how fast the processing is. You notice how fast the video showed up here. Also, the one that I uploaded from my computer is right here too, and it was really, really fast. So let's go inside one of the videos, just really, really quick, just to cover other um, things that I did not cover for you. So we talked about details, we talked about comments, we talked about insights, we talked about captions, but um, there's something else that I want you to see. Up here, you have the ability to share your video. So let's say that you can just want to share it um, as a link. You can create a, a public link to share, but you also can share it for people with other people. So think about uh, maybe I am teaching the same uh, subject or maybe I'm teaching the same uh, class that another teacher is teaching and I can actually share the same video with that person. Okay. And I can just go ahead and look for that person in here. Okay. And I can say that they can view or they can edit. So now they have a copy of that same video that I created or that I uploaded. And for those people that are teaching the same grade level, this would be a great tool. Okay. And uh, so Studio is already amazing. Okay. But it gets really way better than that. Let's talk about quizzes and how you can ask questions as the students are watching those videos. So this is honestly my favorite part. The ability for you to come into any of the videos that you have in here. And if you go to the snowman or the hot dog on the video, you can create a quiz. You also have the ability to share Myriad, to move it once you create collections, and to replace the thumbnail or to delete it if you don't need it. But let's look at create quiz, okay? So now it's opening for me. I can add the name of the quiz, okay? So Canvas Student Review, if I wanted to use that, okay? I can give a description, uh, students will learn how to use their Canvas uh, dashboard, maybe, okay? Okay, um, I can um, hide the questions markers on timeline for students, or I can leave it on. So I wanna leave it on because I want the kids to see it. So let's go ahead and get started, okay? So notice that I have a video right here, okay? And maybe I play it. And as I play it, I can stop it and notice how the plus came up for us, okay? So I want to click on it and I can do, I have three different options. I can do multiple choice, I can do true or false, or I can do multiple answer, okay? So here we go. So let's do a multiple choice. Speed. And now that I'm here, I can add the question, right? This is question that is going to come up or pop up in three seconds into the video, okay? Uh, how do you access your, I don't know, your courses, okay? And then over here, I can say click on course card, click uh, on main dashboard. And if I wanna add extra answers, click on side menu. Okay, and then you can select obviously what your um, correct answer is going to be. Okay, you can add options over here if you wanted to. You can vary points by answer or shuffle sh choices so the students don't get the same um, answers every time. And if you want to add question feedback, you can do this. Once you um, start using quizzes, you'll get used to this. But now I'm going to save that question. So now we have a question. Notice there's a pencil now. And if I wanted to go edit that question, I could do that. Let's go over here. Okay. And the same thing, maybe over here, I want to add uh, another question. So true or false. Okay. And my question is going to be. Uh, do you click on get started on my homepage to access modules? Okay, and this is true. Again, we can give feedback and feedback and we can save. Okay, and then finally, I want to go all the way over here and add, I want to add more and I can do a multiple answer question. Okay, and the same thing, you're going to type your uh, question. And you can type the answers and more than one answer is the correct answer you can shuffle choices and you can do that too so what a great tool right to make sure that our kids uh, to check for understanding and to make sure that kids are watching the, the entire video so i'm going to discard so now i'm ready so i created and i can just go ahead and go done over here created i can go into the video i can go to the snowman or the hot dog i can go now i have quizzes and i can go to that quiz right there just to give an idea and I can play it. You won't hear it, but you're going to see that I'm going to play it and the question is going to pop up. And notice how it showed the uh, point where the question was and now the kids have the question and they can 
answer the question and they can submit and the video is going to play and they can answer the questions as they are watching the video okay so this is how you're going to do this i'm going to cancel this right now i'm not going to save it but then now that you know how to do this how do you give the kids the quiz and it's really easy to give that quiz so you have the ability to put that quiz anywhere in the rich context editor um, so you can use it in assignments, you can use it in discussions, you can use it in pages. So just to show you, show you really quick, I went to assignments over here. I went to create an assignment. I'm going to call it, um, I think it was called uh, student uh, canvas video, um, I don't know, quiz if I wanted to. And then um, anything that has the rich text uh, content editor is going to give you the ability to add it by going to the um, tools, okay? So we're gonna go in here, okay? I'm going to go and click on a plugin. And in here, I should have an option for studio, okay? Going to click on it and it's going to open over here. And I have the quiz right there. So notice that it has the little quiz. The other ones didn't have that little uh, rocket ship and I can go ahead and select it and throw it in there, okay? And then um, you have some options in here. We want to do that. If you want to just show the video, you can do that. But now because we created a quiz, you have video quiz embed. We're going to click that. Okay. That's where I want to put it, right? That's the, the assignment that I'm creating. And then I'm going to embed it. Okay. And now the quiz is going to be in here. Okay. And then uh, it's going to take a little bit of time to put it in there. But now when the kids come to that uh, uh, discussion or assignment or page, they will be taking the quiz on that video. Okay. So it's pretty easy to do. If you have any questions, please contact any of your tech tosas. Have a great day.